But John, it's also called Dawn of Justice. But John! <laughs> John, but, case- John, but, John, but John! But John! But John! Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best, best damn movie-related show. Whatever, I don't care. I just had a bagel. <laughs> What's up? There's a lot of people here. I want Mark to start eating those crunchies while I'm talking. <laughs> we are, had this bit Who already. Who brings potato chips to a set? This I, guy, Mark Ellis. I, it was like, look, if you look at the if you look at the wide shot, it's like the Last Supper anyway. So yeah. I brought some snack. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're going to talk about education, foreign policy, gun control. Uh, equal rights, gun control. We're going to talk. No, no, no. We're going to talk about in the world <laughs> of movies, of course, the big, super important issues in the world of movies. So, uh, our moderator today will be our own Megan Kelly, of course, Ashley Mo. Yes, Trump, you fear me. You can be Trump for the day. All of you. No. <laughs> we, are, we are a conglomeration of Trumps today. That has been keeping things the quietest has been Disney. Like everybody else has been. Why are you laughing? That? It was on me. I was on TV. I was excited. We got more people at the table than we normally do. Dennis is like, who's sitting where? I'm sorry. I should be more specific. John, yay or nay? Um, so, yes, I believe that as I'm sitting there watching the Super Bowl with John Schnepp right beside me, taking in the great sport of what football. What is a Super Bowl? I don't even. What are you guys talking about? What's a Super Bowl? I believe. Big bowl. It's like a big bowl. It's a big, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like cereal. With potato right? chips. Yeah. It's, right. it's something Mark missed out on, apparently. Okay. You're crazy if you think Carolina is going to put up 31 points against Denver's defense. Uh, I yeah, think you're crazy. I think Peyton Manning might give him a couple points. I'm going to have a giant bowl of Cheerios, and I'm saying Rogue One is not. There's no teaser. You Star Wars sweaties don't get it. Well, then hang on. <laughs> So we'll remove you from this arena. So I think Rogue One, they'll probably have a breathing Darth Vader, no. whatever. It's Jeb Bush. Yeah, yeah, it's all that breathing. Whatever those guys yeah. were talking about with Star Wars, it's happening. And your parents were like, Tommy was so. Tommy was so. You trying to imitate your parents? <laughs> They're gonna go see Room now because they brought oh. to their attention. But what can producers do to kind of get a bigger audience? Christian, I'll throw it to you. Because um, you have like a blank stare on your face. No, <laughs> it's like, it's it's you. tweet, hashtag, do all that kind of stuff because people who you're going for that are going to want to see the indie movies, Ashley's parents aside, who are big on Twitter, they, it's going to be a younger <laughs> generation that you're aiming a lot of these movies for. And by the way, Ashley's dad, the meatloaf was terrific last night. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks you. Thanks you. Well, <laughs> thanks you. Thanks you. <laughs> it's a trekky road. Tr- Change it. It's a trekky road. It's a, it's it a, trekky, a trekky road, road because <laughs> you have all these little indies that want to do it. Then right. Star Trek Beyond or right. Independence, they, boom, they just right. start hovering the over. Sound. We want that two minutes. <laughs> good, good transition, Mark. Good transition. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Like I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Kick ass. And look, caution is great, and it's necessary in what we do as far as being critics and reviewing movies. But I'm a fan. That's first why you and have foremost. four kids. That's why I have 19 kids whose names I don't remember. I got drunk and named them after Leonard. They're all Skinner named members. Eddie. Come on. <laughs> Most of them are named Eddie. Uh, so look, this. If you're a fan of this, you should be going in, and you should be optimistic. You should be over the moon that they made a movie about Batman fighting Superman. The world is your life. Life is too short to walk around and be nervous about, oh, am I going to like this form of art? Just get excited. That's the most fun part about this stuff is getting hyped, is getting jacked up. If you go in and you hate it, are they going to are they going to execute your puppy? No, just go in. You didn't like Terrible. the movie as much as you did, but you should enjoy the excitement going in, which is why I always tell people I don't like when trailers give away too much, but get excited. Watch trailers. Get, but it's, it's, it's little two minute pieces of art and it gets you excited. It's fun to enjoy and celebrate this stuff. It's not fun to walk around and be like, ah, that movie looks stupid, uh, but I'll yeah. go see it anyway. I'm feeling nervous like, about this. Or I'm anxious about this. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with Enjoy you. it. Celebrate it. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little known fact that uh, John Wick was actually, his puppy was killed because he didn't like Batman v Superman. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, Reverse oh. engineered it. Who's got room in their wallet for a condom? I mean, just, <laughs> forget caution. Throw it to the wind. All right. What's next? No, I don't want to hear it. You'd want, you'd leave the you'd room. Away, yeah. I, I left like, the room multiple yeah, times. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm like, like give it to me. Let's hear Let's hear it. Because I like that because I feel like, at least for myself, it doesn't affect me in the film. I don't even if I know where it's happening in the film, I don't know the entire thing. I try not to know the entire movie nowadays, right. but I don't mind really? once But it, as yeah. a filmmaker, as a filmmaker and a writer, if yeah. you had a, a movie coming out, a script coming out and your script got leaked out there about a really cool scene that you put together, you'd be okay with that? No. That's what I mean. But. No, but what I'm saying is like he's I don't, as a fan member. Though, I mean, right. I'm saying it's like be, not you'd be, you'd no, be, but we don't talk about spoilers. To, oh, yeah, not in the outer community. Yeah. If you find out about something and you talk with your friends about right, it, that's right, right. totally you and I have had but not releasing it into the world. You yes. and I have had yeah, conversations yeah, yeah. that I've I've seen a movie and you're like, okay, well, what happens here? And I'm like, are you sure you want to hear this? And you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Right. And it tells, and then you're like, and how's it end? I'm like, okay, it goes like this, and you go, all right, that sounds good. I'm going to go see it. Yeah. After you've heard all the spoilers, then you wanted to go see it. Yeah, but I totally appreciate and understand. 
people on the you know online community like on Twitter or Facebook don't ruin the stuff right. like it's for me like Walking Dead don't tell me what happened like that's the I'm, I'm specifically like that show I want to just watch that right, right. so there's specific things and I think everyone has their own specific things and I think you should respect that and that's what I think that lack of respect online is something that I'm talking Agreed. about yeah you know so. by the way there's a dude who gets eaten by zombies what <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> zombies no. eating zombies yeah. in what? Star Wars what? Yeah. Yeah. it's right. a, a zombie wars Schnepp, which one? We got Batman v Superman, Batman v Superman. We got Captain America Civil War, X-Men Apocalypse, Suicide Squad, Doctor Strange, and Deadpool. Right, and Gambit's been pushed off, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So right. what's going to be the best superhero? What is, like, put it on the table yeah. now. What's going to be the best superhero? Not the most successful, right. the best superhero. Well, wasn't the question, what is our, am I most excited about? Not the no, best. No, no, what's going to be the best? best? What's the After best? After you yeah. see them all, uh, what will be the best? What do you like? predict will be the best? The best. That's, that's really rough. Um... Yeah, Ashley's asking the hard hitting. No, Ashley, what are you yeah, trying to do to us? This is on um, the hard. You know, honestly, like I think I can answer that. I can answer that in multiple multiple answers because it, there is no best. <laughs> we got it. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> she Good, made I'm a hard joke. And the fifth yeah. on the hard yeah. shit. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. So I think the best comedy superhero film will be Deadpool. I love where I'm this anxious, conversation is going. If you're talking about the most question mark, the Batman vs Superman has enough question marks to get the Riddler hard, okay? <laughs> but I still think I'm going to take a little bit of a leap of faith and say it's going to be Batman vs Superman. I went to uh, 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 what was it? Chili's. I went to Chili's the other day. Good man. And I, I, I do enjoy. Oh, I do yeah. enjoy. A good it, I don't dinner care about Chili's. the C rating, okay? It's delicious. <laughs> um, C stands for champion. <laughs> um, so I went in there. Check your colon. And I spent. <laughs> So <laughs> for the original Annie, when they all got dressed up and they did a whole song and dance, you know why? Because they were going to the movies. Right, they were right. so jacked to go to the movies, and now you just have slobs like me that just roll out of bed and just sit there. I had this animal two rows in front of me, I'm, and he sat I'm right down. Here. I'm you right were, here. No, you were sitting next to me, and oh, I told God. you about it afterwards. Is this guy? This is a press screening. This guy. Oh, he sits. There, he, oh, I remember. He, this not story. only this, ride along. Yeah, uh, this, this dude. No, 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 not that guy. That okay. guy was narrating the movie. He was commenting. <laughs> right. He was Joe Buck. That's this Kevin Hart. <laughs> this dude comes down. This swap is sitting down there. He take. You know how people put their feet up, and that annoys me anyway. Yeah. Because even if nobody's sitting in front of you, I'm sitting behind you, so I can see your stupid foot doing this while I'm trying to watch the movie. <laughs> this dude takes his shoe and his sock off. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. No. right there. No. That is why you yeah, need yeah. plain clothes marshals yeah, yeah, yeah. in every right. theater. Just Sir, please put the sock back on. See your bunions. Oh, put the sock back God. on and then you put could, the sneaker back on and get out the of the theater. shadow yeah. of Lynn in <laughs> right. between the shadow oh. of toe. Is that a mouse in your toe? <laughs> you talk about checking your colon. No. Check your toes next no. time you go to a movie theater. Right. And that's why we're all uh, chirping about Arclight because Arclight does it the best possible way. Get arrested, you do that. They break I'm, those look, toes. Yeah. So all the movies are five bucks. That's a solid I'm theater, pretty sure man. it's called Shitty Tuesdays, and they yeah. play all the terrible no, movies. No, 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 no. It's Shatai Tuesdays. It's, 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 it is Shatai Tuesdays. <laughs> but no, seriously, that is how, like, that, that's how people can go see independent films. They yep. make it, like, and I think that should be an across-the-board thing. Figure it out. They'd have to figure Gotta it out. Got to be other, like, Whitey Bulger and Bob. And just walk around, like, hey, where's my money this week? Where's my cut? Well, I mean, hey, I mean, it has to happen. Like, we're talking about it. It's going to, you know, movie theaters, they have have to figure this out to get people to yeah, want to go see. Yeah, it's got to be theaters in the studios working together. <laughs> yeah. They've got to come up with a solution. I saw poor Usher get his legs broken by his studio. He had a Warner Brothers shirt. Put it down. Yeah. I'll break your legs. I'll break All your right, legs. All right, folks. Hey, listen. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. This new Power Rangers movie is one of the dumbest pieces of butt fuck news I've, seen, I've heard in like a very, very long time. What was that? <laughs> that <being> said. <laughs> butt fuck news. Look at that. The butt fuck moves. It is. It is. Yeah. Shitay yeah. Tuesday here on butt yeah. fuck news. Butt fuck yeah. news. Yeah. Where we bring the best butt fuckery around. I'll break your news. legs. That's right. <laughs> Fuck your legs. What are you watching? <laughs> butt fuck news. Oh, hey, did it start with already? The with the mouth. It's about three so, butt fucks in. So I, everybody knows I think it was a stupid idea for, for, for them to move ahead with this movie anyway, but there are ways that they could do that might turn out cool. Yeah. Yeah. But they, well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the Best Damn Movie Related Show. Coming from right here at the Collider Tour Bus. We're so glad to be here today. <laughs> also, here is John Schnepp. That's right. Uh, you know, I don't know if you... Uh, if you guys didn't see Campia or Harloff, that's because when me and Ellis were like on the boot, you know, walking the floor doing the doing the thing at the New York Comic Con, they were in the tour bus partying, playing Magic the Gathering, whatever else these nerds do <laughs> when they're not doing the hard work, standing at a booth, sweating it out with you weirdos. What's going on? Oh, uh, here's Christian Harloff. 
tour bus, a.k.a. Comic-Con bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> also, here's Mark Ellis. They literally did not leave the tour bus the entire time. They had bunk beds. They did not allow me and Schnett back on there. That's why we got to hang out with all of you guys so much in New York City. It was a good tour bus. Not Hal Holbrook. Because it was <laughs> Hal Holbrook. <laughs> Hal Holbrook. <laughs> did I say the guy's name right? No, no. I, oh, I, Hal. I was looking at it. No, no. Yeah. You didn't say it wrong. If he's related to Hal Holbrook, that guy made me cry in Water for Elephants. Schnett, buy or sell an origin story for Captain Marvel. I'd buy Kevin Feige's face from that photo. You know, <laughs> I'd be like that too if I was standing next to Brie Larson. Yeah. <laughs> now what do I do? I'm frozen in fear and aw awe. I'm awestruck and fearful. Um, you know, what you do you go rent the Ghost in the Darkness just yeah. to calm yourself down. Brie Larson is incredible. But actually, can we bring up that image one more time just to get that here? I did not know Kate McKinnon from Ghostbusters was playing Captain Marvel. <laughs> Does that not look like Kate in McKinnon from Ghostbusters? In the picture, you mean? yes, the yeah, yeah. It meets the, Rachel McAdams. Yes, yeah. meets a little bit of Rachel yeah. McAdams. Anyway. Mark, what do you think about all this? Uh, I, but I definitely buy it, and then I buy the Kevin Feige. Yeah, can we bring that up again? Can we bring the, like, I got yeah. I gotta see this picture again. Look yeah. at that thing. Yeah, he's starstruck. It's so now, good. don't get me wrong. I adore Kevin Feige. I think he's a great dude, but that's the face it's of awesome. a man who's never touched a woman oh, before. Eyes, exactly. too. Look, Look at the eyes. It's just, it's, I mean, you guys saw a room, right? <laughs> right? Look, I'm standing right next That's, to the girl from Room. She's that Captain is a Marvel. Happy, you happy guys man. are being way too. Look, uh, <laughs> we don't have. I, Adam thought. doesn't have the photo, but I took a selfie with Kevin Feige at a movie theater. I bumped into him. He had the same exact look on his uh, face. That's so I, <laughs> it beating me is just as exciting as meeting Brie Larson. That's I'm, a new shit rat's face. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's the face of happiness right there. That's all I'm saying. All right, what's next? Falling paycheck. Yeah, paycheck. He yeah, I mean, I, I I don't think of him as Batman. I always think of him as Daredevil. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. No, he's an actor. Yeah. Again, it's just it's letting you know exactly this was the Deadpool you were waiting for. Yeah. And the first kind of fourth wall break right totally. there. Totally. Do you guys think that it's overused now with, not in this movie, but with lenses? Like, like I'm so sick I don't of that like shot it. of stuff I don't, splashing on the lens. I don't yeah. like it I'm except so for this. It, wor it works here, but, but they it works did that, here. They're making fun of that That's with the gimmick. Yeah, yeah, That's the gimmick. They do it in every movie now. It's like, stop. Yeah, the gimmick is... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> put balls in your face. You think this guy's going to be in Deadpool 2? He's got to be. He's right? got to be. So good. Yeah, we want to find out what happened to the body in the trunk. Yeah. This song, How many times was this song downloaded on iTunes after this movie came out? Millions? About months? after the, uh, didn't they put it on the leaked footage too? This yes, yes they did. Footage. This, this whole thing. This, whole this, whole this is yeah. the whole if, scene. If yeah. you're implying that Salt and Pepper needed a boost, they didn't. Okay. They didn't no, need a boost, it brought, but it brought it, it back and probably the happy about it. Yeah. yeah. They were I would like, argue you say they will never need a boost in the entire history. They're like Vogue. They're timeless. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love the digs. Man. Do you think is this the best version of comic to comic character to movie? It certainly is close one of them. Close, yeah. right? It's up there. Dude, yeah. This dude's ripped right out of the yeah. comics. Yeah, I just love the way it's shot. Everything about it is amazing. Oh, all of this it's great action scene. Yep. I never watched in the movie. Like, I just saw the raid too, and oh, yeah. this is like yeah. a little yep. bit of like, oh, let's give the raid a little punch. Definitely, up. That's maybe definitely. it's a commentary Flavor. on how on how you can do action scenes today. But I never noticed a lack of budget watching any of these scenes. Nope, I never. You don't need you don't need that extra money yeah. to still make it work. Ten million. <laughs> 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 oh man, the brutality. I mean, oh, no. oh here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> I love, that still, just I, I love that still dragging that body. I just noticed this, yeah. that. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and goes, Amazing. Yeah, and the, right there. Well, what the, happens to him? That's the credits oh opening God. sequence right there. But wait, Riley, watch what happens to that body. That guy tied up is the best. Watch <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you seen this yet? Oh, yeah. So it, good. It, seeing this makes me so happy it's rated R. There's, it's got to be. Yeah. Liefeld that's Street. What, like, yeah. Liefeld oh, Street. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Parker Boulevard. Who's Parker? Peter Parker. Ever heard of him? Yeah, but is that... Okay, you don't have to attack me. I'm <laughs> about hey, guys, stop fighting. <laughs> Look, that's, it's Xavier's school. Peter Parker. Oh, it's a total Peter stretch. Peter Parker, you ever heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at Colossus. Look at the lighting in the shot. Schmoes, yeah. relax. Look, he's eating some grape nuts. How many Deadpool Halloween costumes this year? Oh, man. Lots. Yeah. Wow, it's a very a dangerous Halloween costume. Yeah, the, the, the Before more, this movie came out, there was the most Deadpools I've ever seen at Comic-Con Con conventions for oh, the last this? two years. Now yeah. it's going to be, gonna be all com yeah. It's going to be all Deadpool. Okay, where would you guys rather hang out? If you were like in the world, would you rather hang out here at the bar or the Continental? Continental. Wow. You no, know I'd what? go here. No way. I mean, look at that guy. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't want to be there. I would be, no, be, no, I'd be friends with him. you're one of the guys. Continental. 
So class I think joint. Continental yeah. would be a little more my yeah. speed. This, this place, place is, yeah, this place stinks. This place ten years ago. This looks like the open mic in Big Wang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy was at our screening, by the way. Right? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. When we went. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Been there, brother. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you see he's reading them? Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Perfect Whoops. timing. Yeah, oh, yeah. You got a kid involved. <laughs> You see, he was uh, <laughs> he was reading Mario Lopez's biography. Yeah, um, the book that he had. Oh, was it? Was Mario that, Lopez's that's great. biography. Yeah. Oh, I did not notice. It. That's yeah. amazing. Hey, kids got to grow up sometime. Yeah. Not this way. And then, let's see, great sweater. Do you guys think ugly? Makuga goes to a lot of these, but do you guys think the ugly sweater thing at Christmas is kind of like played out? Like, oh, I'm having an ugly sweater. Th- like, it's kind of tradition fun. now. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun. I think if you wear it to a family event, <laughs> you don't have to do it. Fun. They, have the kind of, he's, they have those kind of parties. Everybody else does it, I'll do it. Fletch. Here's my scenario Fletch. flying free. Anyone? Here's Christian. Pull! <laughs> <laughs> I, would take, you, I would take Ryan. There's Brandon. always something else. <laughs> you grow up in the 1800s? Yeah. <laughs> would you pass out? <laughs> I'm a time traveler, guys. I didn't tell you that. I love how you got a sunburn. Like, how would an asshole get a sunburn? Hey, son, fuck you. <laughs> you just shine extra hard on so you. So finish your story. You got in an ice bucket. What happened? I died. I died, and now I'm back. He was brought back uh, to life with leeches. I'm just going to watch Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> your stories are horrible. I have superpowers. I can heal myself. Hey, this one time I jumped off of a cliff. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, let's watch the movie. I forgot to finish my fucking story. Fucking half story. <laughs> At least uh, just tell the last half, motherfucker. What the fuck? I got don't better. start the first half and not finish it. It wasn't even that long. Of <laughs> no, I know. It was like he stopped same talking other about sentence. it. Yeah, just we're trying. To, Jesus. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Gina Carano's gonna tell. <laughs> Take the fucking elephant. It was a director's cut of the director's cut. <laughs> yeah, the, the extent. <laughs> the extent <laughs> That was a great pause. Cut. Everybody's Sorry. like, <laughs> "How do we do? We comment? I mean, I'm sure I went there. I, I was there. like, yeah, okay. I'm sure there's people out there that want to know how many inches Deadpool, and you just saw his dong right there. We're gonna still keep going. That's what it looks. Look, he made a candy cane, <laughs> a steel candy cane. Yeah, it's a Christmas ornament. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a in five moment. minutes, yeah, those kinda... are like uh, CG enhancements that are invisible because ah. you just forget about yeah. them after a while. <laughs> now people are saying that that is the, the shield, shield helicarrier, helicarrier but it, totally it is. is and it isn't what do you mean it totally is the helicarrier it's mean? not officially a right. shield helicarrier. Not calling it. Helicarrier. it looks like it, it that's yeah. what's exactly, great about but it. it's not it's official nod yes but it's like it's like the, they can't af- say it is after ultron right i mean not ultron uh after oh, after yeah. winter, winter, soldier. winter soldier or avengers actually yeah. is where you saw the first one. right but that's where the big crash was in winter soldier right yeah I'd like to see her in actually X Men. I think it will work. We know what you're asking us, okay? We've seen Apocalypse. Why are you we're, so we're, awful? We're not going to answer. Why are you such a mean person? We're not going to answer. Why are you such a mean kids, person? Kids, kids, you're both just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> this is My a good favorite. fight between Colossus. This is seriously awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. It's starting to wear on me. Really? Too. Yeah. What? She's fighting. Yeah. Uh, but the looks on, it's just the looks on her face like what she's what do you want her to do? She's fighting. Guys a bunch of dicks. Who's up in the oh, shoes? Who actually listened to this song and got uh, You don't like that song. I, nice. You don't like this song. Who drove around in their car and was like, Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to her. Anything with that uh This guy. With that <laughs> this was my th- that was my high school girlfriend's song. Anything with that number? No, no. nothing. At the Clyder Video Studios here in Burbank. I'm gonna be my Cue computer. That guitar. <laughs> House band. A little bit of delay on the YouTube stream. <laughs> also here, John Schnev. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> We're off to a horrible hey. start. Yeah, hey, I, lo- I love the haters of the future who are like disliking the show before it's even. I just became aware of this. There's actual nerds who can power forward into the future, hate on the show, and then come back before the show's even aired. You guys are bodiful. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Mark Ellis? Well, that is correct. When we first launched the stream, there were 39 likes, which is great. Then there were four dislikes. So we want to know what do we do? 
What can we possibly do before we start the show to make you feel better? <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, dude, and you nailed Phoenix, it. And the Phoenix. Yeah. With one button. One missile launch button. Just Thank a big you. red button that they just keep hitting. I just I regain, regained so much respect even after you said you had that spark of hope with fire. <laughs> by you naming off all of the bat with Keop as well, which is, a, you know, that's a, a tiny. Come on. Give this man a round of applause right now. That's amazing. I couldn't have done it. Fuck Power Rangers. But. I'm not saying the F Power Rangers. I'm just saying, like, look, I'm not that excited about it. I don't care who I like cast. how you say the word, yeah. and then you censor yourself. Kind of, you say, I'm, I'm saying F Power Rangers, but I'm not saying fuck Power Rangers. It's a it doesn't song. matter no. what you think. <laughs> Baby, okay. he, 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 he walked, he walked right, right into it. He was I like that monster. It. I walked right into that because I was a little nervous. Because in the middle of my spiel, I saw you look at me pissed off. Like I said something wrong. Like I did another, you know, the month of spring kind of situation. And so I was like, okay, Campy is clearly going to correct me because something I did. And so I ended my thing and I looked over and then you dead. Oh my God, that was great. Oh, and, and hey, by the way, before I, I forget, uh, clearly that picture that we have up is not the actual picture that, that Dwayne Johnson put up uh, on his Instagram account because you don't see all those guys he's describing. No, Godzilla was a Godzilla. There was a, what do they call it, Lizzie or yeah, something like, like that Lizzie, in, the, in the game? Was like Kong, Lizzie, and then the, whatever the and werewolf. And just a werewolf was. running yeah, around. a giant werewolf of the same size. May or may not have had Nards as Monster Squad yeah, taught us. It was a giant. Though. Yeah, okay, yeah. but that's not the picture. No, no, the, not, the, no the, where's you, the picture? I, I, it doesn't matter yeah. where oh, the picture is! Oh, oh, oh. That's, <laughs> that's act, no. no. <laughs> it was close. But A for effort. Thought I'd make an effort. Hey, a man, for you effort. Get a, you, you, get a, you get an A minus from me. I think it worked. <laughs> oh the Rock! And all I got was the 2016 Dodge Rampage, which is, a, which is not something you should name a vehicle, by the way. That right. sounds so dangerous. Rampage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Schnepp has my spark of optimism <laughs> lit a flame that has engulfed you as well into this fire of optimism? Absolutely not. I sell this. <laughs> I sell this. Uh, Rita Repulsa? What kind of name is that? <laughs> I love Elizabeth Banks. Cash that check. <laughs> Cash it right now. I think you've you got so many other roles that are going to be awesome. This is not one of them. <laughs> Power Rangers. They should have went with the, the Joseph Kahn, uh, Kahn uh, whatever that Power Rangers reboot, mm -hmm. re, re, reimagining, whatever you want to call it. Because that was at least exciting, fun. I don't know, man. This is, I, unfortunately, if you like the Power Rangers when you were little kids, maybe this might be some kind of nostalgia bath. You could bathe in and be like, oh, look, it's all stupid again. Whatever. <laughs> I sell it. So you can cut off their head and, yeah, and take, their it, head take it to take, another yeah, state. Take the body somewhere else. Okay. Or do you have to, I guess, have to keep cutting their head off because they'll regrow a body. Right. And keep it in like a thing. Well, can you like blow it up? Just stick a grenade in there or something? Depends. I guess you know we're talking about something that's not real. I mean, oh, but you know all this science. No, I mean, none of this makes sense in reality. So, well, but in the world, I'm saying. Yeah, How but the mean, rules work in, the, in that world. Come on, you're supposed to be my guy. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about? Where they're hanging out at the end? Yeah, I'm just saying there's the possibility of. I uh, love. I mean, she lives. Yeah. Wipe my no. Can you just hit that button, please? Oh, which button am I hitting? The A we button. We are starting it on Title One, Chapter One. Two seconds in. Oh, yeah, deliver first. the 20th Century Fox logo. Dennis Zang coming, Dennis stepping in coming for in. an assist. Zang. All right, ready? Yes. And we are playing. There we go. Three, he is my four, sheer no de five, Six. <laughs> We've got the big fanfare. Yeah. Dun, 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 I like that dun, all the X-Men 20th Century Fox movies, always when it fades out, you see the X yeah. stay on just Although, a little yeah, bit longer. I will say, totally off topic. Hearing this does make me lament that we don't hear this in front of Star Wars anymore. I miss Star See? Wars. There little, it is. Little oh, extra X. How clever. Yes. Yeah. Is it? But did you hear that little thing? That yeah, that's oh, yeah, an X Men. X -Men, X -Men fan fan yes. That's X Men oh, fanfare. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. a little, they little, meld in the X Men fanfare. Little bit of flavor. This is my. This Bad Hat Harry is one of my favorite pre rolls that you see of a from the usual, yep. usual suspects. And Bad Hat Harry from uh, Bad Hat Harry the movie. I can't oh, remember. That's right now. some Bad Hat Harry. Uh, no. I can't remember. Jaws. Hang on. Really? Oh, Jaws. I don't. You you just said it, and I still don't remember. That's yeah. some bad hat. Here Man, here. that is means it's been too long since I've watched the original. Oh, yep. Jaws. treat yourself. Yeah. All right. So here we go. No sharks in this one. I don't that's think right. so. No land shark, king shark. No, that's the flash. All right. Now we see the the destroyed city, New York City. The subtitles just come up for those of you still trying to queue it up. What I can only assume is a cyclops blast through a building. I'm making that up in my head. Right. <laughs> This is. I love this opening oh, shot. Oh, so do I. It's like Escape just, from New York or totally. something. Totally. A giant concentration camp. 
Does this count as a dystopian future? Oh yes, oh, this yeah. is I don't complete. Know what that word means. Dystopian means a lot. horrifying future. Yeah. I love all the opening sequences of every X Men movie. They're always has this unique. cool opening yeah. sequence. This one is, of course, diet sprite bubbles. <laughs> that caused the mutation of humanity. It's the DNA. And then they had the little mystique kind of like scales in there. Yes. It's, it's really cool. It's diet sprite bubbles. Yeah. Diet sprite bubbles, yes. That's it. Attention to detail yeah. <laughs> that only Campia and Brian Singer would have. <laughs> and, of course, not just um, mystique stuff, but also the robots themselves. Yeah, They're those are the sentinel, sentinel kind of like stuff. weird... Switcho, changeo stuff. Yeah, I'm with you, John. I think this is the best X Men movie made yet. Oh yeah, so far, I, so freaking good. It's my favorite X Men movie. And remember, this is coming on the heels of First Class, where yes. right. I really liked First Class a lot. My issue with it was we got to see the B team. I wanted to see the starters, the guys that I knew and loved from the first trilogy of X Men films, and mostly from the cartoon. So seeing all of them come back in this movie and having the the past and the present and the future all collide together. Yeah. All the incarnations of Magneto and Professor X. Huge, yeah. exciting prospect going into this movie. You get the best of both worlds. Yes, you do. Great song. Yeah, this is not the Colossus that gets to hang out so with So that's Deadpool. Sunspot, but he's like also got Sunfire's powers. It's very combo style. Yeah. Ooh. That looks so hot. That, that punch is so The way they use Blink's abilities here is yeah. so good. Man, they really have practiced. Right? Oh, she's so good at that. It's like I'm watching a game of Portal. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's going to hurt. Apparently, she wasn't good enough. I mean, give some credit to these Sentinels, though. Yes. They're really, These really Sentinels good. are all badass and frightening. They brought their yeah. A game. Now, why didn't Blink just cut them all in half? Oh, now there's three of them. This is the definition of being screwed. But I've got a knife, so I'm sure it'll work out just fine. <laughs> That's not oh. a knife. <laughs> now he's doing his lightsaber through the... I was uh, just going to say, it's, yeah, a, it's like, uh, like Qui-Gon Jinn yeah. trying to get into the droid control ship bridge. Yeah. When your last hope is Ellen Page casting a spell on your temples, it's probably a dire situation. <laughs> oh, man. So he's got like a travel version of Cerebro, like a, a smaller one that's in the ship? It's an app. It's an app. They developed uh, <laughs> iOS and Android. That would be I'd very be like, bad for you to say, you Ellis. You don't want to say the that. the word right. You want to say utopian. That's right. That's this meal was utopian. This meal was in, shallow and pedantic. Yes. <laughs> that's an obscure Family Guy reference. But, uh, great seeing Wolverine light up a cigar, you know. And the floto chair of Professor X. Yeah, he's really showing off the tech. I know. That's the part that got me excited in the theater. Magneto walking out with Professor yeah. Xavier. Yeah. It's like, what can stand against them? What a complicated friendship they have. Yes. You know? They kind of experimented in college a little. It's kind of weird. <laughs> There's an awkward love triangle. <laughs> nice man, Cyclops. I keep saying Cyclops. Colossus. Colossus, yeah. And Kitty. You want James Marsden <laughs> so bad. I can't wait to see these two together again. It's going to say right. it's the stars of the new Wolverine film. Yep. I love how this movie wastes just no time. It really does. The action sequence yeah. to start, as soon yeah. as that's done, we're going to explain to you the yeah. plot of the movie now. And we're going to get all rolling. the dead mutants right there. Yeah. Horrifying. There isn't some long voiceover like mutants. So here's what happened. (laughs) 
at least ever since first class. <laughs> Before that, it was totally different. Right. <laughs> we met when she still cared about playing this role. Right. <laughs> That was a long time ago. <laughs> when Storm had long hair. The <laughs> Oh. Yeah. All right. Peter Dinklage is so good in this movie. Like right there. That was fine acting. <laughs> Just fall and stare. <laughs> Despite the dystopian future, they keep these black leathery lo- uniforms in surprisingly good shape. That's right. Well, they have an X-Men cleaner. That's right. Yeah, dry cleaners are not cheap. So we got to keep Trask alive? How do you make something that has that face and be like, oh, no, this is going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> And if only they had envisioned the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, <laughs> it would have been a lot less dystopian. <laughs> and Magneto's like, can we go back 30 years more and stop <laughs> Hitler? Is that a thing? <laughs> I like how Kitty kind of addresses that very question mm-hmm. right away. It's like they introduce a plot device that says there's a limitation how far back they can go. Mm-hmm. Up, oh, but if you regenerate, like mine. Hmm. We could send you back before you did Australia. <laughs> <laughs> or Pan. Right. Send me back Ouch. to the day I signed <laughs> yeah. the contract for Pan. <laughs> I'd say send him back before he did Wolverine Origins. <laughs> That's a good play. Everybody has their positions, I guess, when you're going back in time. You've got to protect. This is, like, crucial. Why not just hide somewhere less obvious, like in a cave or something like that? Yeah, that's it's probably smart. <laughs> we said we'd never talk about that again. <laughs> Yes, you were. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You'll know he's the younger Wolverine because all that fake gray in his hair will be gone. I was going to say, yeah, it's kind of like somebody wanted to be the old destroyer. Man the destroyer, thank you. It's bugging me. I had to look him up. The giant metal dude from Thor. Oh, the destroyer. All right, you guys can go back in time, any time and place. I'm going to give you two weeks there. Okay. Because, because weeks. when people say I'd rather live like in the 1800s, like, have you seen what the dentistry yeah. was in the 1800s? You 18? don't want to yeah. live no, there. No, no, no. I'm going to give you guys a two-week vacation, sure. all expenses paid. Okay. What time period do you want to go? I'll kick it off. Dinosaurs. I want to see what a dinosaur looks like. I think I can survive for two weeks. In I don't a while. think you could survive for two weeks. You would be dead in a day, Ellis. In a day? In one day. In one no, day. No, I'd you, at least look, survive. A few creatures days. this big were probably like so poisonous. You get one bite, you're instantly ah, dead. I got a strong immune system. I, I drink a multi. All right, all right. In your day. fake universe, because if you're going to be in okay, dinosaur where do you guys land, go? Um, I would love two to weeks. go Egypt. 
Ancient Egypt? Ancient Egypt. You want to tangle with Right on the Nile. Name. Yep. Okay. John? Gambia? I think I go... I hear a lot of great things about the 70s. I might just go as recently back as the 70s. <laughs> I uh, give you the keys to any time period you want to go see Led Zeppelin. Hold up a second. It, like, is this like two weeks with immunity and like like riches and we're like hanging oh, out no. at the like best places or are we just like are we like just on the street <laughs> are we just left on uh, to our own i'm footing the bill are you footing the bill money you All won't right. need it with the dinosaurs but <laughs> you might have trouble finding something to eat i'm gonna kill a dinosaur uh, uh what I'll was have, i thinking why i have a pterodactyl <laughs> why did i even have to ask yeah, the question that's right this is such a great opening yeah you get that. Hey, I'm sound. with Campia. My second trip, I'm going back to the 70s, yo. Right there, I mean, New like, York. I New York. Love to see Zeppelin. I'd love to see Greenwich the, uh, Village. I'd be rocking it right there. So, is the guy's tattoos a part of his mute, mutation, or is that just something he got after? Just a part of a really bad design. I hate it. <laughs> it's so uh. stupid. She just kind of did that transformation right out in the open, right, right in front of a thousand him? other, thousand other soldiers troops. Running around. Yeah. Just want to remind you boys what you're all fighting for back mm-hmm. home. <laughs> Uh, well, I, you know, six I pages define a, with some phone numbers. A phone, yeah, a phone, a phone book is three or four pages <laughs> folded in half and ripped in half. With a couple of handwritten eight. phone numbers yeah, on it. Yeah. Phone book. Totally ri- ripped that in half. You should see these animals around tissue paper, man. That's right. Or, uh, you know, before do. 9-11, yeah. yeah, the most guarded facility yeah. that somehow didn't, was it? <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. The leg swipe with the pen was good. Mm-hmm. I have, the follow-up cross across the chin was the cherry on top. Have you guys ever gotten to hit somebody in the head with a frying pan? Hell it's no. It's one of my all-time dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very painful. Hey, McCougar, what are you doing later? <laughs> you come over? Getting hit, getting hit in the head with a frying Can pan? Can we have a pan fight? <laughs> you know it's a party when a good pan fight breaks out. <laughs> <laughs> the, camera, <All> right. <laughs> the cameras. Hey, I'm going to do my best mystique, and I'm now I'm going to transform into Josh Makuga because I got to go. <laughs> Imagine the special effects that are happening right now. Wow, mind blowing! ILM, Weta, all combined. You know what? We just cut to edit out his English comments so we could just like <laughs> sneak Makuga right in here. Josh Makuga, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, everybody, how's it going? I've been paying attention behind you. As this is a dashing ascot he's wearing there, though. I do like that ascot. Not many people can rock an ascot. No, I think Makuga maybe once or twice. I think my parents tried to make me rock it when I was like three, four, and no, five. No, that's when they tried to strangle you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Wasn't an ascot. That's a defensive mechanism in your in your mind. <laughs> yeah. Trying to change you. That is what is known as a noose. <laughs> <laughs> now, Makuga, you weren't as as high on this movie as John. No, and I first no, I was a, a much bigger fan of First Class than in Days of Future Past, but. Rewatching it now, I mean, obviously, you learn who, things. That, who keeps a library on their plane? Look behind his head there. Who keeps a library? No, that's on their plane. I think that's just drapery. Is it? Is, if it's drapery, I stand clear. It looks like a. a I don't know. It does, looks like a bunch of books. It, it, it looks like fake books. Yeah. It looks like seventies era drapery. Yeah. It's like yeah, the but I don't know, Encyclopedia Britannica. It does. Huge <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah. The human body. Because what if you're mid-flight across the Atlantic and you're thinking, wait a minute, what family does the crayfish belong to? <laughs> you, there was no internet. You couldn't pop pop out your Android or whatever and find the answer. He right, bought them like from a, a door-to-door salesman. He figured, put them on the plane. It's a handy thing to have. Yeah. The movements are actually really great. And the fighting movements are so mm-hmm. fluid. They're really cool. They really give Mystique a distinct fighting style. She's like a Russian gymnast. Yeah. She's a lot like Black Widow. It's Gymkata. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Gymkata? Yeah. No, that was a 1980s martial arts mashup movie. <laughs> <laughs> About an Olympic gymnast who gets recruited by the yeah. government oh. to go to a secret uh, martial arts place, whatever. I like it. He creates the the martial art Gymkata. Uh, again, I got I to gotta think of all those encyclopedias on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> he did some reading. So Back to the Britannica, guys. Here, yeah. Back to the Britannica. Yeah. Nothing like doing a school project in the 1990s from a 1970s published Britannica. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to go to Vegas this weekend. I hung out at my local 7-Eleven. It was fun. I had some hot chocolate. The guys know me there. I had a banana. <laughs> what did you think about this, Ken? Uh, I like this white shot because it looks like I'm in a Star War. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, it's good. It's exciting. Yeah, you're right. Aaron Reich just he has that image. I'm looking at the picture on my computer too here. Uh, I guess Tandy Newton was out that day for school, but I'm sure she'll be at it. <laughs> uh, what you know? What the funny thing about it is is Phoebe Waller Bridge. What's her name? Uh, just a couple days ago was denying that she had anything to do with Star Wars. She was like, "Oh, that's just rumors." Well, you're. <laughs> You're sitting there. Uh, yeah, and Woody's like, where's the edible? Um, <laughs> it looks fun. I'm excited. What? I don't know. Schnepp, you heard about all this. What are your thoughts on this Matt Reese situation? I'm so tired and bored of talking about <clears throat> the Batman. Mm. I was like, it's a billion-dollar property. It's a, one of the most beloved characters. Can't they figure it out and get it right? I mean, we should have seen a Batman movie a year after Man of Steel. Yeah. And Man of Steel came out in what? Was it 2012 or am I imagining? 13. Things? Was it 13? 13. Still, now it's five years later. I mean, it's, it's getting ridiculous. It's, you know, if I was in charge of Warner Brothers, I would fire every single person who was in charge of all of the DC movies tomorrow. We're going to talk about a dude getting fired from some other studio. I'd fire all of those people because they are sucking at their job. There's one guy over at Marvel who seems to be doing some all these phases and stuff they started doing in 2008, and then DC was trying to play catch up, and failing miserably every single year. And this is just indicative of it. And so I'm I'm not a DC hater. I love DC comic book characters. I go to the comic book store every week and buy different DC comics. So I'm far from that. But what I am a hater on is when you have a bunch of bumbling nincompoops in charge of these properties who keep failing upwards. They're failing forwards. And that's what I hate seeing. You see it happen you all... You described our career, man, so yeah. be careful well, about hey, that. Well, hey, look, you know, a lot of people <laughs> fail forward successfully, and others just <laughs> suck. And I'm talking about the ones who suck. And it's very obvious. You can't figure out how to make a Flash movie. You've tried 75 directors, 185 <laughs> scripts. Why don't you go back in time and stop sucking and get it right? And, uh, but to be fair, that's, that's like, Riley like that, that one. That is the best thing to write in somebody's yearbook. It, when you sign my yearbook, why don't you go back in time and stop sucking? Have a great summer, John <laughs> Schnapp. Exactly. Well, look, John, we know things we say on this show can be taken wrong. Take this with a grain of salt. I hear from a guy who drove by the WB lot on Olive to a shift at Doghouse that Batman's probably not even going to happen anymore. No, I don't know. Maybe after this. I don't know. Um, you know, you're right. Marvel's over there like, should we put Mighty Mouse in the Avengers? Ch yeah. Sure. Chuck him in there. Chuck him in there. 400 billion in the opening weekend. Um, the, I, it, it's How do you go in for a job interview? When I got hired at Collider, if I got in a fight with you in the middle of the negotiation, <laughs> how are you going to hire me two weeks from, and why would I want the job two yeah. weeks from there? I like You want me to do your movie? Here's some ideas. Why are you yelling at me? Yeah. <laughs> Matt Reeves should move on. Yeah. Find another. There's, you're right. There's so many other directors. Matt Reeves is a talented man. You know, there's so many other people out there. Find some other person to put in there and just get this movie made. It's Batman. My yeah. mom knows who Batman is. If you can't make a Batman superhero yeah, movie why, work, why all the effort? Oh, we're hiring a fourth screenwriter. What the hell is wrong with you? Read a comic book. They're already written. Just yeah. adapt that, you idiots. Yeah. And, that's what, and that's what Feige said early on. Yeah. No, you have the source material here. Case in point, watch that Avengers Infinity War. I'm not a marvel -y, fucking, you know, whatever you want to say. Just look at that video, and you see this giant tome called Infinity Gauntlet, and all these, like, you know, little you know, notes all within the, like, they're actually adapting, like, storyboards from the comic book. So it's like, it's so, I'm sorry, it is so easy to do, and I don't understand what the big problem is. Just imagine the first interview, Ken comes in, sits down, I go, hey, Mr. Nassau, thanks for coming in. The first thing he says is, I give me your office! It's like, okay. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't go so if, well. If they keep having bad job interviews, my advice for the next director is do what I did to get the job here. Don't have a job interview. Just show up on set. Wait for them to kick you out. Hasn't happened yet. I mean, to never have you try to set me up on a date where, like, he's not as bad as you think, but I wouldn't take him to Applebee's. Right. Um, he's an Arby's date. He's an Arby's date. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think this, this uh, Lego Batman and their crew, what a great little movie at a, at the right time where yeah. we talk about the junk pile season you're right february is a little more competitive january is even more competitive eventually batman will be released in january but uh the real batman lego batman's perfect it's it's good in january 2027 <laughs> yeah, exactly uh, i'm also glad 50 shades darker is gonna stick around long enough for me to sneak in the back of a theater in a trench coat to take notes uh <laughs>
<laughs> but the Great Wall numbers remind remind you that this business goes beyond these 50 great states. And yeah, it is a little weird. You throw Damon uh, on a wall uh, that maybe he shouldn't be on, but uh, it's doing big numbers in the Overseas, markets that they need like it to 20 do. 20-something million yeah. here. Uh, yeah. 220, 220 overseas. Yeah. I mean, this clearly this movie was made for the international yeah. audience. Schnapp, what do you think about the report? I would go see Damon on a wall before I see the Great Wall. You know, I mean, the, <laughs> it just looks like, you know, the lizards are zombies, you know, piling up. I, I'm sure that's what happens at the end. You're like, how many lizards are there? Endless amounts. And it doesn't matter how many we kill, there's more, right? <laughs> we have four left. The yeah. movie ends with four Schnapp, lizards I'm left. I'm not going to give away any spoilers right, no for spoilers. this movie. I, my magical guess is like, oh, I'm so bored of the action. When you get bored in action movies that's when it's ultimately bad you know what Bat the lego batman movie is so incredibly fun to see it's great that's why I, I, yeah it should be number the one the warner brothers week. people who are in charge of batman yes. seem to know what they're doing when it's a lego yeah the fun <laughs> part the fun happy part of warner brothers dc universe <laughs> must be doing something right i don't know the grim gritty version where everyone's crying in the rain are effing up but the fun exciting <laughs> Like, happy-go-lucky. Hey, remember Adam West as Batman? Sure I do. Well, don't shut that door yet, because we could still have some fun. They're like, you know, that's what all I can say is, if you're a Batman fan, see Lego Batman. I cannot stress it enough that you're going to leave that theater with a giant smile on your face. I don't know if you have the same with Fifty Shades Darker. I'm waiting for Fifty Shades Darkest. I'm a trilogy <laughs> kind of dude when it comes to, like, horrible, bad movies. I'll be like, maybe I'll wait till the third movie and still never see it. <laughs> I buy it. I also buy that this is Donald Glover's world and we're all living in it at this point. <laughs> right? I mean, he's just raking it in. And I like the idea that, uh, you know, we got James Earl Jones. He, it's a little bit old, a little bit of new, and pay respect to James Earl Jones when we got it. <laughs> And I'm just <laughs> making noises. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, I just snuck off thing. This is uh, my happy button. This not, is not the panic this button. This is not the panic button, which is different. This is the happy button. I mean, John, um, you just could have reached over and used my happy button. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, this is a PG Air show. Air <laughs> <laughs> Cover your ears, little guy. You didn't hear what Ken just said. Please, Ken, there's children. You know there are going to be T-shirts on that now, right? Uh, like, you know that's going to happen. Um, look. Sound you hear 61 minutes into a Vegas Swedish massage. <laughs> right, well, it doesn't work anymore. We'll try again in 15 minutes, honey. Uh, in the meantime, I, I swear say, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> I, I love everything I'm seeing more and more from this movie. And <laughs> I am now on board with Mark Ellis' <laughs> prediction of a $200 million opening Whoa. weekend. Oh, I, I, I'm wagon, joining John. the bandwagon. We got I plenty am, of carrots and... I thought Ellis isn't the idiot savant we thought he was. Maybe he's just a genius. <laughs> and he knows what's the score. I just so, love seeing that movie with a bunch of like nine Sam Elliott sitting around the poker <laughs> table and they all start singing, Tale is old as time. <laughs> ah. I don't know. What do you guys? I mean, let it be known that John Campia's movie research comes from the penny slots at Circus Circus. All right? <laughs> 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 yeah. We all know how people found out what you're doing. Jeremy Johns kept looking around going, you guys want to talk movies with us? <laughs> Love you guys. I'm just jealous I didn't get to go. No, I, I just think it's going to make a hair under. Like, I, I'm going to say 190. The Oracle has Ramses to me. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to be wrong. I want Ellis to take this crown. So I agree with you, John. You know, I don't want to tell anyone what they want to do. I know people that went into Force Awakens not seeing anything leading up to it, and they enjoyed it. I know people who watched and read everything about Force Awakens, and they enjoyed it. Um, I think some of the problems is when we over speculate. No, I'm talking about just as fans. When you build up your own expectations and what a theory is. So, for instance, Ray's hair, it's down. Big deal. But that forms something in your... She's related to Qui-Gon. Then you go in the movie with that expectation and you don't release yourself from that and you over-speculate to the point where you think you know what's in the movie and then it doesn't happen and then suddenly you're disappointed with the movie. Just let these filmmakers and storytellers do their thing. That's where I, I only caution and worry there. Sometimes we can all wrap ourselves up. You know, what's he's Woody Harrelson smiling. His character must be happy. Just let <laughs> things happen. I get excited by seeing the, the, the little clips and all that kind of stuff and, and have fun uh, at your own pace. I like the JTE winning uh, one that just happened because you know <laughs> the guy who was like you know who says names wrong all the time seems kind of like a dullard he's actually he is pretty smart <laughs> you know a, a dullard yeah you know I remember like doing a movie fights with him and he kept saying the wrong stuff for Indiana Jones and the Temple Doom I want to reach across the table and smack him I'm like what what is wrong with you short run or what he kept saying it was like come on dude but he's actually pretty smart and he's got a skill set so I was very happy to see that you know 
I believe in JTE. Yeah. It doesn't hurt either. They, yes, they, we, all, we, we order in the pizza so, a lot. Yeah. So that's, I it's, think it's, I speak for everybody when I say about the Schmodown. Why are you, I was gonna say, why are you holding my hand? Because I miss you. <laughs> you. Go to Vegas without me. We need to work on us. And you know what? Besides the match itself, I gotta say this. Besides the match itself, watching Mark Ellis call a match, uh, Jeremy and I were just in a car for five <laughs> hours, and uh, we for about an hour we talked about some of our favorite lines from Mark Ellis just calling the match. It's one of the most entertaining things you're ever gonna see. It's a lot of pressure on me to be good from here on out. That's yeah. what she said. All right, so. <laughs> That'll do it for us, guys. Thanks for joining us. I want to thank the people sitting around the table with me. First of all, sitting over there, Mr. John Schnepp. Hey, you can online. find me on Twitter and Instagram. Just at John Schnepp. Watch my show, Heroes. It's coming up later today. It'll be on 3.30, 4.30, sometime like that. We're going to get really sweaty about a bunch of stuff, some of, some of which we talked about, some of which we have not. And also, I want to say give another shout-out to Awesome Tacular. It's on the Collider video now on the channel. You should watch it. Everybody here has been doing a lot of great sketches. Ken is one of the head writers on the sketches. He does an incredible series with so Jeremy good. Johns. What is that one where you go back in time? What's it called? Uh, it's called Movie Fans. With yeah, a yeah. Z. <laughs> Movie <laughs> Fans. <laughs> Watch that. You're missing out if you're not checking it out. It's a lot of really fun, and, and it's also scripted. Ken <laughs> Knapsack. Well, the movie fans isn't because I make it all in my head. Four years of ground leads training, finally paying off. Thanks, yeah. John, for letting that happen 15 years after they kicked me out. Uh, you can follow me at Cat Napsuck for all my adventures, and I'll be at the local 7-Eleven waiting for y'all. Mr. Mark Ellis. Kenny is going to be at the local world-famous comedy store this Saturday. He's not performing, but I am. And you guys can get tickets right now. Uh, go to my Twitter page or my website, markellislive.com. Special show. Use the promo code SCHMOES, and you get a cool discount. Plus, the SCHMOES No Live show this Wednesday, 7 p.m. PST. Now, Ellis, what day are you going to do the comedy? Saturday. So I, I think yeah. a lot of us are going to be there. So if you want to hang out, with, I'm gonna, we're going to force Campia to go, right? I might be having my birthday dinner that night. Oh, but, but, but because sorry. Hey, my hey, birthday's on the Oscars. It's his Campy's birthday. has been to the store multiple times. Right. It's been a minute since I've seen old John Schnepp working around I, those parts. <laughs> I'm going to be there on Saturday to and support the baby carrots. <laughs> Ashley Mova, where can people find you? Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Ashley Mova. Happy Tuesday, guys. Wendy Lee. On YouTube at the Movie Couple channel and on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at Wendy Lee Zaney. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter simply at John Cape. And I know we're running over time, but you know what? I'm going to strike up my old prerogative here and just take another couple seconds. You know, we talked about just a minute for about how great, because we're coming off of vacation yep. yesterday, how great Mark Ellis Thank is. you, John. Thank you. It's uh, been a privilege <laughs> to work with you as well. Am I getting fired? <laughs> <laughs> it's really unfortunate for several reasons because when I first heard this morning about David Boyd passing, I didn't believe it. Because there was a uh, David Bowie dies uh, fake story like five months ago or oh, six okay. months ago or something like that, uh, that it came out and it was totally not true. And then this came out today. And again, I just kind of wrote it off because I didn't even know he was sick. I didn't know. And so then when I heard he died, that's really unfortunate. And, you know, a lot of reading around on the Internet today, a lot of people just really celebrating mm -hmm. uh, the, the music and the career of David Bowie. So if you're going to ask me, what not, look, he's done some very key things. Obviously, most people will remember him for Labyrinth, absolutely. And this is just my bias. But the greatest moment of happiness and joy David Bowie brought to me in his on-screen acting career, <clears throat> and it, this is going to seem weird because there's so little, but was his cameo in Zoolander. When, <laughs> when they're about to have their walk-off, Bowie, you have to understand how perfectly Bowie executed this. And they go, all right, who's going to judge this sucker? And just stepping dramatically out of the shadows, like, I believe I might be of some assistance. <laughs> and it's David Bowie. And even just without lines afterwards, the constantly going back to him in his like judge's chair is like a big throne and him judging this walk off was hilarious. I don't know at this point. If I had heard rumors that he might have been cameoing again in the second Zoolander, obviously I'd, now that casts a lot of doubt on that or whether that's the case. But um, yeah, the passing of David Bowie, very sad. And uh, yeah, David Bowie's music. If you're not familiar with it, do yourself a favor. Check out Ziggy Stardust, Spiders of Mars. Check out David Bowie. Check out Tin Machine. Check out everything he's ever done. Listen to Low. Listen to Heroes. The Check guy, out Diamond Dogs, too. Diamond, Diamond Dogs, Dogs is, is probably my favorite Bowie album. It doesn't mm -hmm. get mentioned with the greats of all time, but right. you got Rebel Rebel on there. you got 1984. That's a great You've cut. got Let's Dance. He went through so many different phases of music and was so experimental, he was never going to get pegged. If you're like, oh, this is the David Bowie sound. No, it's now it's this. Mm -hmm. He was a true artist, and he'll be missed. Well, that's, that's one of the things a lot of people forget about with David Bowie was he was a true artist. He took the medium, and he explored it. Every album was an exploration of a different corner, of a different room, of 
of a different floor of this musical house that he had built over his career. And you're right, you were never able to peg him down in that. And so he gave us a lot of diversity and, you know, he gave us a couple of very memorable film roles as well. And he will be missed. Welcome one and all to the best movie news show in the entire galaxy life. Mar Studios here in Anytown, USA. My name is Mark, and on today's show, Spider-Man takes us all to Morton's. Who's joining us, Ashley? <laughs> also here is John Schnepp. That's right. Welcome back. I'm back. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> you welcome back to yourself. Welcome, I love that. I'm welcome to myself back. Because I missed myself being on this show. <laughs> welcome back. Going welcome on. back. Hey, welcome back. Also here is Jeremy Johns. I would like to welcome Schnepp back any day. In fact, you're worth you're worth two of me, Schnepp. There's no. going to be two Schnepps here now instead of one me. I'm going back to sleep. And Morton's. <laughs> I'll see Christian Harloff. Hey, Petey, welcome back. I got to tell you, I'm a miss. It's, hey. the, it's the bit. It's like you in the, you in Joey, the shop. You, you were, know what, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out a little bit, doing some things, you know? You got some guests? I got some, uh, do some things. I take right. care of some business. That's well, fun. it's better than the shit rats. Uh, before we <laughs> get into our first official topic today, I'm not one for announcements, but a lot of you guys have been asking. A lot of people have been wondering. So I am thrilled to say that the brass here at Complex and Collider have made the very questionable decision of installing... Me, Mark Ellis, as the new host of Collider Movie Talk. Uh, thank you. Please take your seats, everybody. Uh, the engine that John Campia built pretty much runs itself, and so I'm very happy to have the keys to this speed wagon and to tell you guys that in the next weeks and months before I inevitably get let go, I would like to have some new segments on here. We're going to have an increased diversity and more opinions on the panel. And look, I know a lot of people out there are wondering, and you may be voicing your concerned opinion, hey, can a comedian run a professional movie news show? That's valid. I have no idea. <laughs> We're about to find out together. One thing I can promise you guys is that that sidebar right there is going to be drinking a whole lot more regularly. <laughs> Do a shot, sidebar. Yeah. What's our first story, Ashley? Sammy Hagar, one of the top two lead singers of Van Halen, recently stated that he's open to a reunion with frontman David Lee Roth in this proposed yeah. tour. Why the two this would take love? turns belting the hits and a sort of vocal dueling banjos routine. Mark, what do you think about a possible full lineup reunion of the greatest band of all time? This is a real yes. story, and uh, we'll talk about it for a second. Yes, I would totally be up for it. It'd be the best of both worlds. You open with Unchained, you close with Top of the World. As long as Michael Anthony is playing bass again, I am good with both lead singers in Van Halen, though I don't think Roth would ever do it. Anybody want to weigh in? <laughs> I'm I totally love the front fact row. that this is still happening. Yeah. This, is my, yeah. this is my favorite. I, I want to get to Coors Light and Carrots. Yeah. Like, I really want to. And then, bet. all right, Dog Pit. Mm -hmm. This is a good show today, See, as long as we stay on it. That's how you run a movie show, is that you put dog pics at the end. So people have to stay around for all the other boring topics, and then you get to cute dog pics. Christian, Halen. <laughs> All <laughs> right, well, he's a dad. He sleeps a lot. John Schnepp, you I'm in for this? Front row tickets, baby. I'm going. It's what amazing. I like to, be to hear. Ashley Mova? Uh... <laughs> that was her doing her impression of the opening of Jump. All right, let's move on to our first official movie news story here today. Happy birthday, birthday to uh -oh. you. I didn't know that. Happy I didn't know about birthday this. to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Mark Ellis. Not gonna do it. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Wow. Woo! What a Baby carrots. Yeah. Baby carrots. Oh, thank you, guys. You know what, Adam? Put up the other sidebar for a second. This would be more fun. Mm. <laughs> that feels good. Thank you, guys, very much. I have my birthday on Friday, and uh, it feels good to be 67. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Woo. You know you're getting old when they only put three candles on the cake. Oh, forget so, how many there is. Thank you guys very much. That means a lot that anybody even knows my first name here. Thank you all very much. No problem, Jim. Now, that's good icing. You got to wear the hat the whole show. Without further ado, what is our first official topic here on <laughs> Collider Movie Talk? <laughs> Trying to be yeah, yes. yes. are about to die. This is scary. You start crying now. It is John scary. Schnapp. I'm feeling very emotional. Right. Uh, Jeremy John, scores, soundtracks, ready player one. You have the final word on today's episode of Collider Movie Talk. Ooh, no pressure. I think scores and soundtracks, like you guys have said, depends on the movie and what they're going for. I think the scores are going to be very important. I then, because ready player one is very video game centric, right? So that might be why Sylvester has that one, because I'm sure John Williams is like, in a world of blending video game and movies, 
I don't play video games. Right. I don't know his gamer tag if right. he has one. So Silvestri might be the better guy to blend that world together. So just, I mean, things that dawn on me 45 minutes after we first talked about it. So I think it's going to be very important. I think they're both going to do a, uh, I think it's going to be a, a good thing. I think they're going to do a great job. Silvestri, pretty good blending of stuff when it comes to Forrest Gump or when it comes to Back to the Future. He had his great score and also Healy Lewis in the news. That's right. Giving us some all-time right. classics. Well, thank you guys for joining us here on Collider Movie Talk, a very cake frosting and Van Halen centric episode. Where can everybody find you, Mr. John Schnapp? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnapp, and later today on Collider Heroes. And every day this week on Collider Heroes for tasty little nuggets. Jeremy Johns, where can the kids check you out? Oh, you can find me at Jeremy Johns on YouTube, Twitter, rest of the internet. You can find my show, Awesome Tacular, on Go90, where I literally have pieces with all these guys here schnepp and i we go comic book shopping harloff and i we talk star wars mark ellis and i we throw pies in each other's faces and as a guy who just had his birthday mark being almost 40 you look like you're 30 you think like you're 20 and you act like you're 10 he did the reference yeah but you are fun to play board games with does anybody get it write us right now christian harloff nickelodeon Nope. No. Uh, you can find me <laughs> at Christian Harlock, Twitter and Instagram. We mentioned also, you know, Heroes and, and the video game. We're going to have more information on that, so we'll just we'll post it up. Uh, I'll post it up on my Twitter account so you guys can get involved a little later today. And for everybody who watched a Collider Collision this past weekend, thank you so much. The amount of support that you guys have shown, um, all the comments, all the likes, everything. Some, so many people have shared it and been talking about it, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and appreciate it. It was a slam-bang match. I would say some of the better matches we've ever had yeah. in the Schmodown took place this past Friday. Make sure you guys check out both parts one and two on the channel right now. Miss Ashley Mova, where can the kids find you? Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Ashley Mova. Happy Monday, guys. And Wendy Lee Zaney. Uh, Wendy Lee Zaney on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am merely Mark Ellis. You guys can find me at Mark Ellis Live. Thank you to all of our crew. Thank you to everybody who came out and celebrated my birthday. It means a whole lot. Very excited to be captaining this movie talk ship Monday through Thursday. And Dennis is going to be back each and every Friday. I appreciate all the support, guys. Please let us know what you thought about today's episode of Movie Talk. We'll talk to you soon. I'm still working on my sign-off. <laughs>